Hey, it's David Elder, and today on Texas Eats, we're traveling all across the Lone Star State going to great restaurants you won't want to miss. Get ready to go inside the newest location of a popular New Orleans-style brunch spot in San Antonio. We check in with Chris Conger from the Smoke Shack to see what he's going to be serving up at the Texas vs. Memphis Cook-Off. And we take a cruise north of downtown San Antonio to go inside of a new Hawaiian-style restaurant that's serving up some outrageous bites. All that and more right now on Texas Eats. Stop on today's foodie adventures just north of downtown San Antonio at the Smoke Shack to see what owner and pitmaster Chris Conger is going to be serving up on the November 2nd Texas vs. Memphis barbecue cook-off. That's the perfect bite right there. Go ahead and chop all this up. Now that we've seen the brisket get trimmed, seasoned, smoked, come out and get chopped, it's time to check out these tacos that you're going to be serving at the UTSA vs. Memphis football game on November 2nd. So what's the first thing you do to make the taco? All right, well, obviously, you got to heat the tortillas up. No better way to heat tortillas up with a little brisket fat. So, so corn tortillas, in my opinion, uh, man, brisket and a corn tortilla, there's nothing better than that. Get those nice and hot on both sides. Give them a little character. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's hot. Get these things loaded up on a tray. Now that you have the tortillas ready to rock, they got some beef tallow on them, they look delicious. What's the next step? All right, chopped beef. So we're gonna give a nice little healthy portion of, of chopped brisket. Let's go. That is a healthy portion. Yeah, why not? And there's all this wonderful smoke in the air over here at Smoke Shack. And you can see that in the brisket right there, you have a nice little bit of smoke ring in there still. I mean, this is the top tier brisket that you get when you come out here, chopped up, put into a taco. So just a quick uh, 24 hour pickled onion, pickled nice. red onion. Uh, I like it, I like it have a little crunch, so I don't like to pickle them too long. And then uh, a little jalapeno crema, top it off. Not too spicy, because I know these folks from Memphis I don't know if they can handle their, their heat, you know. Uh, Already trash talking, I like oh, it. Oh yeah. A little bit. And then top it off with a little cotilla. And then we finish it off. You always gotta have a little cilantro on your tacos. Cilantro and onions, can't beat it. Chris, thank you so much for showing us how yep. you make these brisket tacos. You guys get your tickets now for the UTSA vs. Memphis football game happening November 2nd at the Alamo Dome. There's also going to be a Texas vs. Memphis barbecue cook-off. Chris is going to be out there showing up for Smoke Shack and Texas. And they're going to be going against Corky's Barbecue from Memphis. So make sure you get your tickets, go out there, get a sample. You can get one of these tacos out there. Come My on. goodness. Y'all come cheer us on. <laughs> yeah. Go vote for them. It's, what it's, it's all about votes. So go vote for Texas when you get out there. Salsa right on top. My goodness. Cheers to you, sir. Cheers. All Thank right. you. That's the bite. Memphis, y'all gotta bring it. This is good. Good amount of spice. The pickled onion in there yeah. adds a little bit of acidity. And the brisket is just insane. It's so tender. My favorite thing to make. <laughs> November 2nd, 2024, he and his team will represent Texas in a showdown of smoke and flavor at the Alamo Dome, where there'll be a barbecue competition during the UTSA vs. Memphis game, going head-to-head -head with Corky's Barbecue from Memphis. Hey, San Antonio, I'll see you on November 2nd at the Alamo Dome. Today on A Taste of Texas with Shiner Bach Beer, we're at Casa Catrina on the Riverwalk in San Antonio. This Dia de Muertos themed bar with great bites has murals and they also have statues depicting the different Catrines and Catrinas all over the building. There's a bar downstairs, there's an upstairs area as well that you can sit and eat and drink. And there's so many great bites, all these different salsas made in house and these tacos are top tier. I love the tortillas on there. Wash it all down with an ice cold Shiner beer. It's the perfect time of year to go in there and check it out. Follow Casa Catrina on social media for upcoming events and drink specials.
Now we're here at a new restaurant just north of downtown San Antonio that's serving up bites from the islands. They got surf and turf, rice, they even have desserts out here as well that you gotta check out. Let's see what's on the menu at Maui's on Main. Joining us now is Mike Maui Suarez, and you are the owner out here. And the chef, you've made all this delicious food that's in front of us, and you got a whole team that's with you as well. But this stuff, it's your heritage. It's what you, you were born eating, you grew up with this stuff. Talk to me about the legacy, the lineage that led to this moment here. You got a brick and mortar, and you started as a food truck, right? We did. We started on the food trucks probably about 20 years ago. Wow. And then uh, we've been doing that ever since, grinding away. This opportunity opened up, and we went for it. I want to start right here in the front. You said this is the best fish tacos in San Antonio. Nobody's come at me and said we have the best fish tacos in San Antonio. So they look incredible. So you're already hitting the marks on the visual. Y'all, this is dense. This is heavy. Cheers to you, the fish tacos. This is insane. Super crunchy on the outside, that fried flavor, the texture, you're double wrapping it because you know it's about to get serious. I've had maybe like six bites of this thing. I'm put, I gotta put it down, we got a lot more food to eat. This is it. The loco moco is a very popular dish on the island. Talk to me about how you prepare yours. Ours is on a bed of spam fried rice. The two patties are gravy, our egg, and double Hawaiian mac salad. I am in heaven. Cheers go. to you. All right, cheers. The loco moco. Now it's time for the mac salad. Bro, somebody loved you very much when you were growing up because you want to love everybody else with all this food. This is amazing. This food is hugs. This hugs. It's hugs. <laughs> this food is hugs. It's I want a shirt that says that. So this one right here would be the two meat plate lunch. You get the Hawaiian fried chicken. You get the sweet chili teriyaki and the Kaloa pig. Cheers, the chicken. That's the Kalua pork. Before I roast the pig, I throw it on the smoker for about two hours. Then I get my seasonings, my Hawaiian sea salt, roast it with the cabbage. Oh no. You already got it. It's already sauced up. It's already packed full of flavor. The smokiness is there. This is an incredible composition. This we call our freestyle. So our freestyle is, if you find something that you want to throw together, you're allowed to freestyle it here. This is my freestyle, the mac salad with Kalua pork. If I get crazy, I'll throw a little shrimp on it too. And then last but not least, right here, that's a big old plate, man. What you got loaded on there? That is the plate lunch. If you're hungry, we like to feed you. So right here, you're gonna have your spam fried rice, your mac salad, you got one, two, three meats, Kalua, the garlic shrimp, and the spam. Spam! I'm gonna start saying that instead of bam, spam! Mm. <laughs> and check this out, you got breakfast out here. These pancakes have coconut and pineapple in them. That's just comfort food right there. It's delicious, all good. From morning to night, that's what we do. Y'all, Maui's on Main, delicious food, great stuff, man. And I just love your passion. You can see it when you're talking about it and the execution on everything. You got a great team. And of course, you gotta wash it down with those drinks. And look at this, an ube milkshake as well. Everything is just, it, it takes you back to the island. It's, it's phenomenal. I'm gonna give you, this is one of my favorite restaurants for 2024 right here. You guys are killing it. I'm so glad you came from the food truck scene. You're killing it in the brick and mortar. Now he's on Main, y'all. This is your next spot. Texas Eats! Coming up later on Texas Eats, we go inside of the newest brick and mortar location of a popular San Antonio food truck to check out their loaded media and seafood dishes. And next on the show, get ready to go inside the newest location of a popular New Orleans style brunch spot in San Antonio. Texas Eats will be right back after the break. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here north of downtown, right next to the Pearl in San Antonio to go inside of a restaurant serving up great New Orleans style cuisine. Just like this right here. Thank you so much. A catfish po' boy. Let's see what's on the menu at NOLA Brunch and Beignets. Joining us now, chef and owner Peter Sipeson. Chef, thank you so much for having us. Yeah, man, my pleasure. And congratulations. This is the new home for NOLA here in San Antonio. Yeah, Talk to me sure. about the space itself. 
What was it like for you to move off the St. Mary's Strip, come over here off Broadway? We finally got to build NOLA 100% the way we wanted to. We've always been in second gen restaurants, so this is our first time to come in and like do it all from scratch, uh, exactly how we want it. And of course, a walk-up window, which yeah. is really, really cool. Now, Chili Quiles, this is where it's at, man, because this is fun, and you got the egg on top. How do you prepare this dish? We scramble boudin up and make like this chipotle gravy with boudin sausage. Just like Norteño style uh, chilaquiles, some queso fresco. We make like a lemon crema on top. That's the bite. I didn't know what I was going in for. Insane. Right next to that, you have a dish right here that everybody knows and loves, shrimp and grits. How are y'all preparing it? So this is kind of our ode to barbecue shrimp. I'm basically cooking it the same way. We get wild caught gulf shrimp, cook them in this kind of spicy, garlicky, buttery sauce with a little beer, a little lemon juice, and we serve them with these really nice like stone ground corn grits. If that plate comes back to the dish room and it's not like wiped clean, then we're doing something wrong. You did something wrong. Bro, that's insane. Talk to me about this one. I love having an egg sandwich on the menu. Try and use beignets wherever we can. And of course, like the toasty cheese on the outside. That looks like insane. The cheese on the outside, you wouldn't think it'd be that important, but right. the crunch you get from that is yeah, so fun. necessary because everything else is so tender. You had said the biggest item on the menu is right here. It's your chicken and beignets. It's kind of our play on like chicken and waffles. We make in-house like a Creole cream cheese. Oh, it's a real traditional like Southern Louisiana style of cream cheese, but a, a byproduct of that is whey. In place of buttermilk, we marinate the chicken in the whey, and it's like really one of my favorite things on the menu. If you're not getting this dish when you come out here, you're doing it wrong. Once we finish these drinks, we go in the kitchen. What are you going to cook up for us? We're going to cook up a Bananas Foster. I'm going to show you the real deal, how it's <laughs> yes. done. Cheers to you. Cheers. All right, we got our drinks. We're going to go in the kitchen and make some Banana Foster pancakes. Now we're in the kitchen here at the restaurant. Now, Chef, what's the first thing you do to make the Banana Foster pancake? We start this one off right, doing some real uh, delicious, like fresh from scratch buttermilk pancake batter. We make it fresh every day. Now, everybody kind of has a tell for when it's ready to flip the pancake. Yeah. What is your tell? When you see those little bubbles coming up in the middle, you know it's good to go. Then we get nice fresh bananas, give it a good amount of sugar here and then we torch them in the classic New Orleans, like a la brulee style. We also make this nice little uh, roasted banana spread and that goes in the middle. And then we're gonna go with a little bit of this rum caramel, just a touch of sugar, cause it looks nice. And then you gotta finish it up with a little bit of the old Chantilly. So we make this nice like house-made whipped cream. Yeah. You hear that? Man. That's how you know you did it right. NOLA has a new home here in San Antonio, right off Broadway. They got a beautiful parking lot. I gotta say beautiful because there's not a lot of them over here. No, and no, there's no. great space inside. This is where it's at. I'm gonna take this one. Coming up next on Texas Eats, we go inside of the newest brick and mortar location of a popular San Antonio food truck to check out their loaded media and seafood dishes. Scan the QR code on the screen now for your chance to win a one night stay at the Great Wolf Lodge. Bring the whole family to enjoy multiple rides at the water park, the lazy river, great bites at multiple restaurants, and so much more. Texas Eats will be right back after the break. Joining us now is Brian Beltran. He is one of the co-owners out here at the restaurant. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, of course. Thank you for coming. Man, you guys brought out everything. I mean, we've got like sushi, you have tacos. Over here, you got the poppers, fish. You got a little bit of everything. Talk yeah. to me about this restaurant. How long has it been here? Started off with food trucks, and then we recently just opened up our first brick and mortar. So you started as a food truck. It was a very popular food truck. Okay. Where do the recipes come from? So they, they're all family recipes, my mom, her, and my brother. We've always been a close family too, so we've always been, all kind of have been involved in a little bit of everything. In the front, KC Bidia Tacos. These things took off in popularity a couple years ago, and I feel like everybody has their own version of it, and you guys have the consomme on the side. What makes your special out here? 
Ours has a really good mozzarella cheese melted into it. You just can't beat the taste. I'm gonna hand this one to you, be a gentleman. Alrighty, thank you, thank you. And I'm gonna grab this guy. Let's dip it together, okay. Look at that, into the consomme. Super juicy, that's the bite. Wow, so good. Oh my goodness, I took a big old bite. I got, we, we still gotta finish the rest. I know, there's a marathon, but those things, I've been looking at them at a while. In the middle, the showstopper. Y'all just got a fish, you put it on a hook, you deep fry it. Hook on, hook on, yes hook on. sir. This one looks crazy. So what's going on here? So we got a, it's, we call it the mojarra. You get the whole fish itself, um, and you pretty much deep fry it and then just pick at it. It's a very traditional way of eating deep fried fish. You can dip it off uh, with some sauce on the side. We got some avocado, a little bit of a salad. You got some lemon over here and then some rice. Cheers. All right, the fish, this looks delicious. If you weren't here with me and I wasn't filming, I would just grab it off and just take a bite like a bear, dude. You just eat it like a bear. That. Now, it's in the name of the restaurant, El Cevichero. Yes. Now, ceviches are super important with what you guys produce because you have different kinds in front of us, right? Yes. And over here, you're gonna have your ceviche verde. That one's gonna be made with uh, fish and shrimp as well, with a little bit of a kick. All right, this one's one of my favorite, actually. I was gonna say, I'm holding this one. Let's take a bite. Let's do it. And you got the little tostada shell on there. You can grab a little crunchy bite of that, too. Tons of protein. Cheers to you. Oh, my oh, bad. Oh, there my you go. Bad, I forgot. Good limey taste to it. You ever have a little kick to it? A little kick to it. <laughs> You also have room for dessert. You gotta have this concha here with the ice cream. Okay. Now we're gonna go in the kitchen. You guys are gonna make for us an item from start to finish. What are you gonna make? I think we're gonna go with the Norteño sushi. So she's the magic behind everything right now. It's all her recipes, uh, backbone of this whole kitchen, <laughs> everything pretty much. Now you're gonna be making the Norteño sushi right here. This is an uramaki style. That's the rice on the outside, the nori seaweed on the inside. So this is gonna get deep fried. We got about three, four minutes. We're gonna let this cook, and after that, we're gonna bring it back, slice it up, and eat it. Out of the fryer, right on top. What's going on here? So, I mean, we're gonna toss some mozzarella cheese on it. It's gonna be nice oh and melty. Oh my gosh. gosh. Slicing in, look how beautiful that is. So you're getting almost like a chipotle mayo, kind of like a sriracha mayo sauce, and then you're getting an eel sauce on there. This looks beautiful. Yeah, and there you have it. You guys, El Cevichero here. It's a beautiful spot to bring the whole family. Come out here for lunch. There's also lunch specials. You can also grab a drink, bring your friends on the weekends. It's popping at nighttime. Grab the different food. There's all kinds of options out here, but we gotta try this one. You ready? Right, cheers to y'all. El Cevichero's where it's at, y'all. That's the vibe. Thank you for watching today's episode of Texas Eats. And to get more information and a map on all the restaurants that you've seen on today's show, just go to our website, TexasEatsTV.com. Don't forget to follow us on social media at Texas Eats TV. And don't forget to join us every Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock at night right here on KSAT 12, because this is how Texas eats.